You are learning that functions are a way to run several lines of JavaScript codes by issuing just a single command. When you call a function, you tell the JavaScript engine to jump to that function and run the codes inside it. Remember back when you call your pizza delivery to order your favorite pizza? Every time your pizza delivery return, they return with your favorite pizza. Well, functions can also give something back when they finish. This is called returning a value. And it's common when working with functions. For example, let's say you want a way to get the number of days until Christmas so that you can display it on a web page. You could create a function that gets the number of days until Christmas and actually writes to the page. Better yet, you could create a function that just gets the number of days until Christmas and gives it back to you. That way you cannot only write the return value to the page, but you could also use the return value in other ways, like displaying it on different parts of your page. In other words, creating a function that does only one thing, returns the number of days until Christmas, for example, makes the function flexible enough that you can use it in many different situations. To return a value from a function, you use the return keyword. This creates what's called a return statement. When the JavaScript engine encounters the return keyword, it immediately jumps out of the current function and provides the value to return. The value that's returned by the function can then be used in your program. For example, in this case, the return value is given to the console.log method. So the message, your pizza is on its way, will display in the console. But you could use this return value in many different ways, write to the page or even save it in a variable. Let's look at the log random function we created earlier and see how we can improve it. To code along with me, first download the course folder from the link in the description below and open it with your favorite code editor. Here I'm using Visual Studio Code. From the course folder, open the exercise folder called JavaScript Functions. And then open the index.html file using Google Chrome. Here I also open the JavaScript console. In the index.html file, remember to link the return value.js file. In return value.js file, you'll find the codes for the log random function we created in the previous lecture. Generating a random number from 1 to 10 is useful. You can use it to build a game, for example. But the function we created is limited. It generates a random number but always displays it in a console. What if we wanted to show the random number on the page or store it in a variable? We can actually make this function more useful by returning the random number only. That way we could use it in any way we wanted to. I'll show you what I mean by first removing the console.log method from the function. Next, I'll add a return statement to return a value from a function. And what do we want to return? Well, the value stored in random number. So now the function name log random doesn't make a whole lot of sense because the function no longer logs in the console. So I'll update it to generate random number. Now I can use this function anywhere I want to get a random number from 1 to 10. For example, in an alert dialog and in a console like this. I'll save the change. Refresh the page. Here's the random number in the alert dialog. Click OK. And here's the random number in the console. I can even store the function in a variable that I can use later. For example, const random number a call to generate random number and that's right a function call itself can be a value that gets stored in a variable creating functions that only return a value is common in programming for example you might create a function that calculates the total cost of an item including tax and shipping the function return that total cost so that you can use it in different ways or use it for more calculations. Lastly, functions always return a value even when they don't have a return statement. If you don't specify a return value, the function returns undefined. For example, in the console, I'll paste the log random function we first wrote, then call it. When I run this code, one random number displays in the console. And after that, the value undefined returns from the function. Undefined is one of JavaScript's built-in values. When returned by a function, it means that there's no return value specified. Now I'll call the generate random number function here in the console. And 
and this time one random number returns from the function. I'll try this a few times. <laughs> 